Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, we're talking about simple machines. Hi, my name is Guy Trenin and this is iPads in the Classroom from Tech Edge and today we're talking about apps that help you teach about simple machines. And this is a great concept, especially now that we're talking more than ever about engineering education starting early, about project-based learning and about maker spaces. All of those can lend themselves to exploration of simple machines. And the iPads are not very simple in some ways, great and simple in other ways, for example, the interface, but there are some apps that can help you explore simple machines. And let's start with Discovery Kids. Discovery Kids has a simple machines a app that really allows you to explore and you can see in the index here a very colorful very appropriate for a kids in a elementary or even into middle school you can explore it beyond lots of information and um, very well organized so for example um, we can look at levers and you can see that this is complex and and there are directions everywhere so you don't have to wonder about how to control it you can scroll up and down to make sure that you're getting the right thing and then uh, you can also move it you can see that there's a bar on the bottom that helps you move between the pages. So if you want to jump around and not necessarily read something specific, but actually use it more like a reference, you can. Um, the arrows are very nice, the explanations are very clear, and there's not too much text. I find that the font is very readable as well, which is great if you're working with younger kids and you want them to actually a look at the whole thing and you can see that all of this has great explanations and great illustration it is not for the most part very interactive but uh, the information is all there again you can see that uh, we can go uh, back here uh, and you can see that you can use tap or twi or, or swipe to get going um, a little bit of animation, a little bit of sound, but not in a way that actually limits your ability to focus on the main thing. The next thing that you can of course do is, is you do have short videos, for example, if you want uh, the catapult. And so you get this information with little tidbits, none of them are too long, great way to again think about uh, simple machines, how do they work, what do you need to make them work? What, what do you need to think about? So for example, you can expand and go to a specific area and learn how it's connected to other things. So great uh, content. The next app I want to talk about is a little more sophisticated. This is um, Simple Machines by Actual Concept. And this one actually allows exploration of the science behind it, so the physics. And let's look, for example, at inclined plane. What you can do is you can actually start looking at the calculation. How much does something weigh? What is the height? How much work is being done? And then you can, uh, I can restart here, and you can see how the force that you need changes as you change the incline. So where the incline is very wide, the force, the minimum force to apply is lower. Uh, but the distance is higher and as the distance gets lower the force you need it gets higher so you can actually s play with it you can also play with the mass you can so you can actually do some interesting things and interact with it while it's measuring the effects which is hard to do often um, if you've got a simple space without all the machines to measure the force and everything that's connected to it. I don't think that it would replace it, but it's a good complement to see how things interact. You can use this app, unlike the Discovery Kids, to actually do some inquiry about how it changes and what is the underlying uh, thinking. And when you actually look at the text, it actually guides you through step by step how to think about this what kind of questions you can have and then uh, it even has the answers uh, which is less important i think that the questions are more important than the answers in this case as it often is and you've got the simulation uh, but if we go to back to the menu you can see that you can do a similar a study now you can do it with gears and so you can rotate this 
and you can see the relationship between the main gear and the follower gears. And then again, you are guided through a set of questions to guide the exploration. So this one is called Simple Machines, and it is by actual concept. And these are two simple apps that can help you teach simple machines. And I'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.